Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I am going to be doing a very... <coughs> today I'm going to be do <coughs> Wow. Today I'm going to be doing an everyday spring glowy makeup look. So if you guys would like to see that, then please keep watching. <laughs> So usually I don't come out here without my brows done, but you know, it's kind of like a everyday no makeup type look, but I'm not going to be super bold. This is all about being very minimalistic. So first I'm going to use my brush and I got this from, but you can get it at the beauty supply store. You can also get it at Walmart. You can get it on Amazon. Amazon, I'll link it down below if you guys want to get one of these and for my brows I'm actually using a eyeliner this is a long-lasting soft type eyeliner by Gabriella I think I got this from the beauty supply store at the mall you guys look I got my nails done and it looks really rich and famous all right so for my eyebrows because I'm doing something very minimal I'm literally just gonna follow the shape let's get a little closer all right so I'm just gonna follow the shape and add a little bit of tint to it where it's still kind of spacey and then that's literally all I'm gonna do for my brows and then I'm just gonna brush everything in and blend it together now I'm gonna go ahead and do this eyebrow and I'll be right back that was an ugly wink now for me to highlight underneath my brows I'm gonna be using a concealer that is not too bright and kind of close to my foundation color. Usually if I'm doing like a bold face, I wouldn't do that. But for this spring glowy everyday look, we're gonna like chill out. And I'm also using a very little product. And also for everyday looks, I like to use liquid based product mold because that gives you, especially for the spring, you want to look glowy. Winter is when you want to look super like vampy and matte. But when it comes to spring, summer, that glowy skin is what it's all about. Not many people clean the top of their brows, but I do because my brows are like little, but they're messy. All right, so now moving on to foundation, I'm going to be using the L'Oreal True Match foundation. This is oil free, warm and deep golden. It was a little too yellow for my face, so what I did was I mixed this, the L'Oreal, what color is this, W10, with the Can't Stop, Won't Stop in Chestnut to give it kind of a balance so it could, a little, it could be a little more red for my skin. And usually I use a beauty blender, put it all over my face, but since I kind of want to be minimalistic today, I'm going to use a brush and then kind of fan it all over my face so it's not a thick coat. Because usually when you're using the beauty blender, it like stamps the pro the hell? I didn't know it was in powder. It like stamps the product in your face and then it puts it on, like it's caked on um, or it has a thick layer. But usually when you do a brush, it doesn't really have that effect. Especially when you're light handed with it, it's easier to just spread and blend around with the brush. And I'm not gonna go back in, I'm just gonna use that one pump that I did, hopefully. Now for concealer, what I'm gonna do is use the Instant Age Rewind Eraser Dark Circles Treatment Concealer by Maybelline. I love this concealer. Um, I've been in love with it for a little bit now. Um, and I'm just gonna put that much concealer. That way it still kinda contours my face because sometimes if you don't put, for me, if I don't put enough concealer on my face, it just seems, it just seems like, you know, my face still looks bland. And for this, I'm going to use that same brush that I use for my foundation to kind of blend this out. And I'm using a very, very light hand. That way it spreads evenly on my skin. Like some for like that dewy natural glow skin look. You don't want to put a lot of powders on your face. You want to use more of a cream based foundation concealer to achieve that look. I have combination skin, but then I have certain areas on my face that get really, really dry. My upper lip gets super dry 
uh, so do my eyes, which is weird. But then I get greasy right here. And sometimes you want that dewy look, but then you don't want to look like greasy in like five hours. So the key to that is to use a good matte primer, which I didn't do, but you know. A good matte primer and also a good finishing spray, whether you want it to be dewy or not. Now here's the thing. I don't want to be greasy right here and here, so I'm going to use a little bit of powder and just tap it on those sections. I'm not going to put it all over because I still want that dewy effect. I'm kind of pressing it into the skin, that way it locks in. It has been, I still think of you and, all the and then take a little bit and put it underneath these creases. And I'm going to put just a little bit underneath that so it doesn't look really matte and just kind of holds the creases right there. Also, if you have a good concealer, you don't have to worry about it being like that matte. For me, I'm a person that talks a lot with her face. Like everyone talks with their face, duh. But I talk like, oh my god, haha. -ha, like, like my face moves a lot when I'm talking. Not like, oh yeah, you know? Like I'm literally like overly dramatic with my movement. So I get a lot of smile lines, my eyes crease, and it's just not a good look, sis. So I just need to make sure I put powder in those areas. This is also a very oily based foundation. This is the Infallible Longwear Shaping Stick by L'Oreal. This is in the color Espresso, and I use that to contour. This is really oily and you want to be careful that you don't look greasy, that you look dewy. So I'm not going to look, use too much of that. I'm just going to put a little bit over here and then contour the nose. Now usually I use the powder to like cut there, but what I'm going to do is kind of buffer it so that way it still cuts, but not a lot. All right. So next, what I'm gonna do is use my favorite blush, which is the Patrick Star with MAC Take Me Home Blush. And then I'm gonna be using the Shady Bitch, cause I'm gonna be using the Shady Bitch highlighter. You can tell I've been using this a lot because it's hitting the pan. When you're talking about glow, the highlighter is literally like the second most important. Um, it's usually like your foundation routine that's important because you don't wanna look matte. Highlighter is also a big deal because that gives you that artificial glow, you feel me? I'm gonna put a little bit on my forehead. I'm just gonna blend out this nose. Now, usually I go for dramatic lashes. I'm not doing that today. And then also, usually when you're doing like an everyday natural, like an everyday look, you don't put lashes on, but today I am. Which you don't have to. I just really don't have any eyelashes. Like, I have none. <laughs> this to me is a bold lash. Let me stick it on my hand. Compared to this lash. So this, this is more wispy and natural looking. This is kind of bold. So for everyday look, I'm gonna be using this one. But while those are drying, I'm gonna go ahead and turn to my lips. Now for my lips, I really don't like to do so much. Um, you guys already know. I'm just gonna line it up with a brown liner and this is a lip pencil in the color Cocoa. I don't know what brand this is, it's probably NYX. And you guys can tell like my lips are naturally pink. So I'm just gonna go in with this Carity all night long lip stain. That way it kind of gives my lips some like color but it's still the same concept as my real lips. I actually got this lip balm from Honey, raw. it's raw honey from Scentbird actually, and this is what it looks like. Um, it is so moisturizing and I've been in love with this. And it has this little silver little base that you can buy and it's always cooling, I love it. But that will also give me some sheen. That way my lips look like plump and full and still natural. And usually I would have eyeliner on, but I want my eyes to not look so slanted even though they already are. Um, I want it to look a little open and lively and it just goes with the whole glowy concept. 
Don't judge me. You know what people have always told me that I never agreed with? Everyone says that my eyes are big. I feel like my eyes are small. Comment down below. Do you think do you think my eyes are big or small? Hold on, let me put my lashes on so you so you know. All right, now answer. Do you think my eyes are big or small? So, the other thing is for that glow, even when you close your eyes, try putting some highlighter on your eyelid and that kind of gives it a very nice, like, I don't know. It gives it a really cool, beautiful look. It's like you have makeup on, but you're not doing the most and it's still glowy and adds to that glowy thing. You see how it just made this eye look so much like beautiful. And then this one is still like, needs some help. But like, this just looks like, oh, she, she's cute without trying. You know what I mean? This is also a good makeup to do like when you're going on a date. Cause you know how guys would be like, I want a girl who don't wear a lot of makeup. Do this, they're, they're gonna be like, oh yeah, she doesn't wear a lot of makeup. And also a good advice to keep in your mind is if you're gonna do this to your eyelids, make sure you're using highlighter that, just like a highlighter that won't make you look ashy. Go with your undertone. <laughs> All right guys, this is it for the everyday spring glowy makeup look. I really like the way this turned out. It's super easy to do, you guys. It's just using less product, being lightly handed, and using a lot more cream-based products on your face. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I love you guys so much. And until next time, I will talk to you beauties later. Bye.